Hi guys, this is me, Jawad, and welcome to another video of Mastermind Tips. In this video, we will we will be uh, watching some hidden features of Google Chrome. As we all know that Google Chrome is a very famous web browser, and it has a lot of uh, hidden features. So let's just talk about them. So first of all, open your web browser, and uh, the first hidden feature we have is Inogento mode. Inogento mode. Uh, uh, is often surprised uh, you uh, is often surprised many people don't know about this mode uh, aka private window in Firefox and Safari when you go in Ogento your browser doesn't keep track of your browsing history nor will it store any cookies from your browsing it's a very good option to have when browsing for things that you might not want the world to know about uh, we should note that inogento mode will not block your behavior from being monitored by work or by the website you visit they can still log your ip addresses search uh, so this wa uh, if you want to open it in your browser then here's the method i'm going to show you that first of all click here and here you can see that new inogento window so here you can click and this is the inogento mode here you can uh, browse so this was the first feature the second feature we have is a search directly into individual site using the omnibox you can automatically search through many websites without actually going to those sites as long as they are in your list of search engines if not we uh, will get to that below uh, this is a beneficial if you want for example to go directly to google or uh, google or wikipedia article or uh, article and skip the stops of going to google front page after if the trick is unable you simply start typing wikipedia and the far right side of the omni box will prompt you to press tab to search within the site in this case wikipedia once you uh, press the tab a solid block will appear in the left side of the omni box that says search wikipedia after which you can type your search within the site in this case uh, in the i mean to say you can search anything for that hit return and you will be taking in the internet's collected knowledge about your fuzzy orange friends google will automatically add these keywords search to any site you visit if a site is not including in your list or you want to change the prompt keyword it's typically the website name just go to setting scroll down and to search and click manage search engines which is here and here uh, you can manage all of your uh, search engines so for your uh, for an example I will going to show you how this works so let's take an example of Bing uh, type Bing and here you can see that on the right side there is a uh, there are some text which says press tab to search Bing. Then I when I uh, press the tab here you can see that the solid search Bing has appeared. And uh, whatever I write here, just like I should write iPhone here. So and press enter, it will search iPhone on Bing. So this is the uh, feature of uh, uh, Google Chrome. Next we have drag multiple tabs at once. So uh, most people are familiar with the ability to drag and drop close uh, Chrome tab into their own browser windows or mix and match uh, them between browser window windows. But they may not know that it can be done with more than one tab at a time. Just hold the control key and click on all the tabs you wish to move and you can move them as one if you are on a mac hold command key so let me open some tabs here so uh, if i press tab it will 
if we if I press sorry control so you can see guys I can move these tabs where I want so these were the features uh, that I have discussed with you next I have an op uh, open accidentally closed tab this is a very important and very uh, useful feature have you ever mistaken close a tab we all have but thankfully Chrome is a forgiving browser and make it possible to get it all back all you have to do is press Control shift T uh, command shift T on a Mac and Chrome will reopen any recent closed tabs you can keep hitting if for more closed tab working your way back through the browsing history so let me show you uh, it was control shift and T here you can see that my recent closed tab was Instagram so if I want another tab so uh, press again this was jQuery so these were uh, this was the fee this was the feature uh, next we have uh, drag a URL to the bookmark if you come across a website you uh, you will want continual and easy access to you can quickly add it to your bookmark bars bookmarks bar by highlighting the URL and dragging directly into the bar boom you can edit it later if you want to change the name you can drag a URL in the form source other than Chrome as well so here you can if I want to save uh, make this link a bookmark then I will drag this link into my bookmark bar and here you can see that uh, this has become a bookmark so if I want to add it then right click it and click on add it the uh, you can uh, completely edit it so next we have browse through tabs using key commands if you ever need to read something quickly on another tab hold down the control key uh, command or max and a number one through nine each number associated with a different tab starting with one all the way to the left and moving incrementally incrementally through nine tabs as you move to the right so if I want to open uh, without uh, a tab without using a uh, mouse I just have to uh, con uh, press control key and press one it will open first tab if I want to uh, open second tab I will uh, press control and press second and so on next we have is open a search in new tab by default searching in the omni box for tacos and hitting return opens a search for everything tacos in your current tab however time uh, sometimes you want to look up information but don't want to lose the site you are on fortunately there is a key command workaround hold down alt button and hit return on your search and this will open in a new tab mac users use so if i want uh, alt and press control back uh, it shows nothing let me do something uh, taco. so if i want to go back i will press alt button and hit i mean sorry he was saying return key so if you uh, hit that it will return back to its original just like that next we have secret pages in google chrome if you want uh, if you get bored of surfing the traditional web there are few dozen hidden chrome pages that you can check out on your browser all you have to do is type the chrome url usually begins with chrome uh, colon forward slashes uh, into the omni box uh, just like uh, omni box sometimes of these addresses are pages you find via setting but some are only available via direct link 
most of the these pages are hidden for a reason because you will never need to use them they are just under the hood info for coders and developers you can find an official clickable link by typing chrome let me show you So here you can see that there is all the link list of Chrome URLs. Uh, if you are curious as what they mean, uh, you can search any of these uh, links uh, that you are currently watching on your screen. Next we have easy key command to delete browse browsing history. If you ever want to delete your browsing history including past URLs, cached images, passwords and cookies, you can do that all through the clear, clear browsing window in setting. You can access it quickly by pressing Ctrl Shift Delete. Let me show you Ctrl Shift and Delete. And a clear browsing data window will open just like that. Press shift command delete to access this function on Mac. Uh, next we have hidden T-Rex game. Did you know that Chrome has a hidden game featuring a monochromatic T-Rex? You can access it by manually disconnecting your device from the internet and then opening a new open a new opening a new tab. This will prompt a page that says unable to connect to internet and will feature a little 8-bit style t-rex at the top if you watch you will notice he she blinks every few seconds to play just hit the spacebar and you will enter a forever running game in which the t-rex run along a desert landscape pressing the spacebar to make it uh, hop over the various cactics and cactus it encounters uh, it's a great fun for like 40 seconds so let me show you game, uh, this game uh, first I going to disconnect my internet then I'm going to open Google and it says this so here you can see that here's our T-Rex and when I press spacebar it will start the game will start It's quite a fun game. So these were some hidden features of uh, Google Chrome. I hope that you will found it useful for uh, found it useful. And don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.